Real quick, we are gonna talk about flashlights. I know this is a, a weird topic to most, but this is actually something I get asked more than anything, almost more than anything. I probably get asked more about chicks and flashlights, but this is something I get asked a ton about, especially anytime I do a seminar or anytime I'm at an event and people see this or see the little demo I do with it, and uh, this is just one of the best things. So a big part of what I am about and what I teach is being able to protect yourself and your loved ones because that's my job. I don't outsource that to other people. I don't outsource my personal security to other people. Like even right now, someone's walking and I'm not zoning out. I'm always aware of my situation, what's around it, what's going on because no one's gonna sneak up on me. This is a big part of that because most crime happens at night, right? Most guys who get in fights happens at the bar, someone's drinking, someone's crazy, someone's on drugs. Well, using a flashlight on them, if someone's drunk or um, under the influence of anything, their eyes are even more susceptible to this. And we've all done it where like you wake up and let's say you're hungover, and even if you're not hungover, even if you just wake up in the middle of the night and you go into the bathroom and flip on the light, or it's been a late night, you flip on the light in the kitchen and you're like, oh fuck, and it, it hurts. That's what this does. And it's almost like having, I tell people this, it's almost like having an X-Men superpower. So imagine if I had to get in a fight with a guy or a couple guys and I could snap my fingers and all of a sudden their eyes don't work for the next 20 seconds. That's a pretty good fucking superpower to have. I could get some free shots in if I need to. I could get away, which is probably the best thing to do. I'd probably stay and fight, but you guys probably want to get away. Especially if you have women and children or anything with you, you want to get out of there. So what makes this flashlight so awesome is I can take it with me anywhere. Number one, if a tool isn't with you, it's no good. If there's a fire and you don't have a fire extinguisher in your car and there's a, a car fire, it doesn't help you. It doesn't help you if that fire extinguisher is at home. If someone breaks in or anything or you're out and about and you need to defend yourself and you need a gun and you don't have one, it doesn't do you any good. But lots of places you go, you can't take really good tools like that. Um, courthouses, airplanes, federal buildings, bars, or if you're out drinking, obviously you gotta know the state laws, the city laws, wherever you're at. Like in Arizona, I can take a gun into a bar as long as I'm not consuming alcohol, but other states it's different. So you always have to know what that is. But I can take this flashlight with me anywhere. I fly with this. I have it with me 24 seven. When I go to bed at night, it's always right within hand's reach. So that's number one. It's small enough I can have it with me. Number two, if you're getting a cool tactical light, you wanna make sure the button's on the rear. That way I can pick it up and I can always turn it on and activate it and I don't have to spin it around and look for that button, which we've all done before. So you wanna make sure there's the button on the back. Number three, you want it to be small enough, like I said, so you can have it with you, but also so it fits in your hand because lots of times, just out late at night, even just last night when we were walking around, or two nights ago when we were walking around back from the bar, I just have this in my hand. And I'm walking, it's dark, no one sees it, but it's there if I need it. Now some people like ones that are a little bit longer so you can hit someone with it, but really, I like one that just kind of just fits right in my hand. There's ones that are a little smaller. There's ones that are a little bigger. This one just sticks out enough, and there's kind of like some scallops on the front that, that do a little bit more damage. Really, I think they're, they're designed for, if it's left on, you can see it's on. Uh, but because there's some scallops on, there's a little more surface area. They're a little sharper, so you can do some more damage. The next thing is, it's just started changing, literally with this light. But the reason these things are so awesome is they run off lithium three volt camera batteries and the batteries have like a 10 year shelf life. So this isn't a light that like I go camping with or work on the car with. I can and I can adjust it and go to a lower setting. It's gonna run longer. But what makes this one so awesome is it's lithium powered. It's super, super bright. It's LED so there's no bulbs to change and um, it's pre-focused so it's not like a mag light where I have to spin it around. Because I've had that happen before with flashlights. You grab it, you look for the button, you try to hit the button and turn it on and all of a sudden the light's like this big floodlight and it doesn't work. But this one, it's focused, it doesn't change ever. Just off my hand, I mean, you can see how bright that is. What's cool about this one is it runs off a lithium battery or a double A. So in a pinch or overseas somewhere, I can throw a double A in it and it's not quite as bright, but it still definitely does the job. Um, like I said, having it with you, small button on the back, high only. So every time I hit the button, it's on high, it's on high. This one has different settings. You can cycle through it. I'm not gonna explain all that stuff, but you can go low, high, you can strobe it and do other things. I like high only because I want to be in control of it. So that's what makes this flashlight awesome. Now to use it, like I said, some people like bashing people with it, but if you do that, you have to be within contact range. So if I can hit them, they can hit me. And if they have a knife in their hand and I have a flashlight in my hand and I'm hitting them with a the flashlight, that means they can hit me with their knife. That's not an even exchange I'm willing to, to risk. 
So what makes this so great is someone's across the street or down the road even, I can use this to blind them. I can use this to affect them. So the drill that I teach all my guys whenever we're doing one-on-ones, all the same stuff we did for law enforcement for years, is the number one drill is bringing this flashlight out of your pocket and just you can do it around your house. You can do it in the neighborhood. You can look for something like the flag up there, a flower pot over there. And you try to make sure that, boom, I can actually hit this where I'm aiming all the time. So if we're just using that tree trunk, boom, I know it's there. It's not over on the side and I have to bring it up. So that drill teaches you the number one target with this flashlight is someone's eyes. So in self-defense, like I said, I wanna to get too technical with this stuff. But in self-defense, um, tactical situations, the police, they're always trying to look at like the bad guy's waist or his hands. Because the waist is where the guy's gonna put weapons and the hands is how he accesses them. So you definitely wanna keep an eye on those things because that's what kills you. With the flashlight that's so bright like this, I can blind him in the eyes with it and if this was pitch black, you will see this flashlight lights up this whole, uh, it's actually a tiny little driveway because we're in this old, cool, classic part of Philly, but it would light up the whole street down there just with this little flashlight. So I want to make sure that that spotlight's right in their eyes. And if you guys have a buddy, or even if you just do it in the bathroom mirror, see the difference. Shine it in the mirror, shine it like at your waist, and then bring it up and see the difference. And when guys know that it's coming, they'll try to power through it and they'll try to look or do something. But every time I've ever blasted someone with this light and they don't know it's coming, what's, the, what's their reaction? They'll close their eyes, they'll cover it, they'll look away. If you need to deal with that threat, that's a great way to deal with it. That with them with their eyes closed, covering their hands up, covering their eyes, looking away, that's like a free shot you get on someone. But like I said, the best situation, the best response is probably gonna be you getting out of there. And so I've used this, I've used it on drunk people, on homeless guys, people are getting up too close to me and I don't, I don't wanna deal with them, I'll just blind them in the eyes and I go, hey, stop there, don't get any closer. And that becomes such a powerful moment because they can't see, they start feeling a little helpless and they get scared and they're like, oh, okay, and they'll leave. The other cool thing you can do, I've done this when I'm doing boot camps or one-on-ones, if I'm in the bar and I need to get through the, cl the crowd, I'll uh, cup it with my hand, so see how it's like lighting up my finger and my pinky, and just a little bit comes out, and I'll go walking through the bar and I go, hey, coming through, coming through. And everyone thinks I'm like a bouncer or something, and everyone just parts out of the way. So it's pretty crazy what a flashlight allows you to do. It's one of those things too, once you have it, you realize how much you use it and need it, but when you don't have it and you need it, no other tool is gonna fill that job. So literally, if I'm flying, going on an airplane, going somewhere, and I can only grab one self-defense tool, I grab my flashlight. And the great thing with this is, these are only like 40 bucks on Amazon. It's a Streamlight ProTac 1L-1AA. I'll put the link down below, or I'll put the link on the blog post, wherever this is, I'll put an Amazon link. I don't make a fucking penny if you buy these, I don't care, but they're awesome. So these are my favorite. The ones that just came out, uh, that came out a couple years ago that were my favorite, those were like two, three, 400 bucks. And they're worth every penny, but I can get a light like this now that's 350 lumen. If you know about light output, that's a shit ton. A big mag light is like 60 lumen. And a lot of guys are like, oh, I like my mag light because I can whack someone with it. That's a shitty baton, that's a shitty stick. It's not something I'd actually want to hit someone with. The, the benefit of having that mag light is blinding someone with it. And that was top, top level technology back in the 80s. This thing's 350 lumen, those are 60 lumen. Those run off four D batteries. This runs off one AA or one lithium. These, these are game changer lights, so I have it with me all the time. Obviously, if I use a knife in conjunction with it or my firearm with it, it's gonna make those tools even more effective. Because remember, so I'm about blinding someone, they're looking away. If I have to shoot someone, if I have to cut someone, that's gonna allow me to do it much more effectively. So it's a force multiplier, using a flashlight with anything else. Sometimes the best force and technology I have is gonna be my hands. Sometimes it's a tactical pin. Sometimes it's a folding knife. Most of the time it's a fixed blade or my firearm, which is a Glock. We'll talk about gun selection maybe in another video. But like I said, I'm getting ready to fly out of Philly. This is in my pocket. I put it in my backpack, go through security, take it right out, put it in my pocket. Never had an issue with it anywhere. No one has, no, people have asked me what the clip is and I pull it out and I go, oh, it's a flashlight. That's it, that's the most I've ever had to deal with with this. And as soon as people see how effective it is, it's pretty awesome. Maybe in another video too, I'll show you some advanced tactics where I can, I can blind people and make them think I'm going one way and I'm really going another. That's how I take out like whole SWAT teams by myself doing force on force training. Blind them, they shoot at the light, they don't, they don't even get a shot off of me. I've taken out whole, whole SWAT teams during training scenarios just by using the flashlight properly. If you use it incorrectly, it can get you killed. If you use it tactically incorrectly, it's one of the coolest things ever. So, Streamlight ProTac 
Amazon. There's a whole bunch of different ones. This is the best one right now. Carry it all the time. I bought like five. I give them out as gifts. Someone comes by, one of my buddies, they see it. They play with it. They go, wow, I wish I had one of these. Pull it out, give it to them. Just open a new one. You're good to go. So pick one up. Game changer.